Hello, I'm the Straw Hat Farmer with Grow Dinner Aquaponics. We're aquaponics farmers here in Zone 7. And we're out here at one of our aquaponic ponds that operates a couple of uh, aquaponic grow beds behind us here. And I want to talk to you today about floating duckweed on your pond in a wrap system so that your tilapia don't eat all of your duckweed. Because they will. They'll eat every speck of duckweed in this pond in one day. So even if you've got lots of it, they're still going to eat it all. So this is a way to grow the duckweed in the same pond with your fish and be able to control how much they're eating and to be able to keep yourself a good supply. But not only that same route system will work for that, it'll also work for plants. You can float plants on the same pond with your tilapia. Now this pond here is raising, this duckweed is raising a tilapia. If you want to take a look at what we're raising here. This is the kind of fish that we're growing here on pure duckweed. Success you're going to get with your duckweed if you grow a good healthy duckweed. Now let me take you and show you how we build that raft system so you can get started growing your own fish food. Okay, what we want to start with is we're going to start with a piece of three quarter inch styrofoam sheeting. It can be any size you want it to be. I prefer kind of a smaller size than great big sheets in case I want to take them in and out. I'm going to start with a straight edge. It's about two inches wide. I'm just going to lay it right on the edge. We're going to build the raft system for the duckweed. Now, I like a good sharp razor knife. It makes this a whole lot easier. The dull knife kind of tears its way through, where a good sharp knife will just cut right through. Just be careful not to cut your fingers. Now, you want to start and stop about two inches from the edge. That way you can make like a picture frame out of this styrofoam. Basically it's going to look like this when you're through. Now let's go ahead and cut our second one because it's going to take two of these. And what we want to do is we're going to take our first one and we're going to lay it down. Then we're going to take some fibered wire, just like you use on a window, except this is the fiber, not the metal. You want to cut it a little bit big. You don't want to cut it real tight. But you want to be able to kind of create a bowl effect in there. We're going to square it up on this one edge. Then we're going to take our second one that I did. I just kind of edited that out so I wouldn't take so much time. And we're going to make the perfect little duckweed tray here. A little raft for you to float it in and get some free fish food. Good organic fish food. I'm a firm believer in free food and especially free organic food. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some nails and I'm going to press right through there to hold it. I'm going to work my way down one side for right now. Then I'm going to take some zip ties. I'm going to squeeze it tightly and remove the nails. come out the other side and bring it back around and zip tie these two layers together. Work your way all the way around this one side. Don't do the whole thing yet. You don't want to because it's too tight right now. We have to mold that and form it to fit what we want to be.
Okay, now on the other side, I'm going to turn it around so we can work with it a little easier. And what we want to do is we want to push this down in here a little bit so that we can uh, kind of get a bowl effect in there. So that the wire will always be, the screen will always be in the water. We'll do the same thing. We'll put a couple of nails in the side. This one I do both ends so that we make sure we've got enough. You want to just kind of mold it in there so that it's got like a little bowl effect in the bottom. Just take your hands and press it down. Kind of pick up on your foam a little bit. Then we'll start going down this side here. And we'll need to start on this end where we've got a nice cut on our screen. Take your knife and just kind of trim up on the edge here. Not only is this good for growing duckweed, it'll actually give you some shade in your pond so you don't have quite as much algae issues. Calapia really seem to do a little better without full sun. And of course we all know that without full sun it makes it harder for algae to grow. So it has a couple of benefits. cut these off just to make it look a little neater. Okay, now what we've done is we've actually built a raft here. We've left this hanging down so that it can hang into the water, the actual screen can, and the float will be able, the raft will be able to float up and down with your flood and drain bed. Now let's wash this good before we actually install it, and let's rub our hands along here and get any loose foam off our fish. They don't digest that too well. So we'll rub these insides good and get that off. Okay, now basically what we have here is a floating raft. What we'll do is we'll just take some duckweed from here and throw it into there. In a couple of days, we'll have another whole float raft of free duckweed. Now I'm going to show you exactly the same thing, except it's a little simpler to grow a few plants if you want some. We've got an air stone right underneath here, so it's pushing it up. We may have to move it over a little bit in our raft. Get it out of the air stone. Okay, it's the same exact procedure for your, for your floating uh, plants if you choose to do plants on your system. Except the basic difference is we drill holes instead of cutting squares and that keeps the uh, fish from coming up and eating your root system. Now let me take you and show you around some other duckweed ideas that I work with that feeds our fish here. Now if you just want a little bit of duckweed because you have a small system or you just need a little bit, this is a little easier system. This is actually a styrofoam cooler. Now this one is several years old, so it's kind of looking a little dog-eared. Uh, but this one here actually is just a styrofoam cooler with a net and the bottom of it where it just floats on top of the water. 
just basically cut the top off of a styrofoam cooler, stick you some wire in it, put a couple of nails through the side to hold it in place, and it'll just float around in the pond. And when you get ready to feed your fish, you just dump it over. And we'll okay, here's another area we grow our duckweed in, which we make it really simple. We drain our settlement tank in here, and that gives it the nutrients it needs. And then, of course, you've got duckweed right here if you want to throw it into your tank. Another way to grow duckweed is in a kiddie swimming pool. Now, if you're worried about mosquitoes, you can actually drop like a goldfish feeder fish in here, and that will actually uh, help keep the mosquitoes down. An air stone will make it grow much faster. Uh, we just lost our air stone during a storm. The actual pump got a little wet, so I need to re-add one here. But that's another way to grow your duckweed. Duckweed will double its mass about every three or four days if you have a good environment for it to grow in. And this is the best environment for duckweed that I can find because one, it has air stones, two, it has nutrients, and it's also got a good balanced pH because you're balancing it for your fish. So this really is a good system where you can actually grow all your tilapia food for absolutely free and uh, take advantage of a good organic food. Okay, basically here we have it. This is where we're growing freshwater prawns on the bottom of our pond. We're growing tilapia in the center section. Here we're growing fish food on top and a little bit of uh, human food for consumption ourselves. Now remember something, fish absolutely love duckweed and duckweed is high in protein and high in nutrients. And good healthy fish food gives you good healthy fish. And good healthy fish gives you good healthy vegetables, which in return gives us really good healthy food to consume. And I hope this works out for you, and I hope it gives you a more sustainable system. And thanks for joining the Straw Hat Farmer with Grow Dinner Aquaponics. Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, or see our website, www.growdinneraquaponics.com. And thanks for sharing this with us at our backyard garden. That was a good, healthy video. Was it? Yeah. Cut? Yes. All right, that's a wrap.